Now they're in the starter's hands. The lights are going on. Brenda Ferrari flicks the switch. They're all off. Some taking a very... Now they come into turn one, Phil. What's going to happen through here? They're virtually upright as they go through this first stanza. Someone's not too sure of uh, actually turning the machine. This is where you're sorting some of them out, Phil. Yeah, there's a couple of riders there that just got in there a fraction too hot for their own confidence and uh, pulled the bike up. Managed to, everybody got through turn one, which is uh, which is great news, Braxy, but no surprise to see uh, Harrison Watts out uh, front. Certainly hasn't got his elbow on the ground like he did uh, by turn three on the uh, in the first race. But they're still looking very smooth out front, and that's the secret to riding in wet conditions, isn't it? Keep it smooth, keep it nice and uh, calm. No sudden acceleration or sudden braking. And the top three have just started to uh, really push away at the front. Tell you what, someone getting great drive. The rider in second position got great drive out of that corner at the bottom of the hill there as our riders come round to uh, navigate these final two corners on the first lap of this race. As they come across the line, it will be Harrison Watts leading, but only by a very, very small margin over Levi Russo and uh, Judd Playstead. Ricky Henry doing a great job there in fourth place as well. Jake Page in fifth, Tieran Fleming in sixth, Jed Fyth in seventh, and uh, Xavier Kermy in eighth. Yeah, Jake Page's first road race, and you'll be uh, gingerly this on the wet, but uh, this is a typical race of Mick, one of Mick Dewan's famous statements. Win the race in the slowest possible time. Harry, Harry Watts to, uh, and you're getting confused now, you've got Harry Watts, Harry Boyd, Harry... Uh, Curry, all the Harrys are starting to take control of uh, the stars of Australian racing, but Harry Watts at the moment is uh, doing a fine job with uh, Levi Russo, Playstead and Ricky Henry. They're in pretty well close proximity. Jake Page there in a lonely fifth position, then it's a bit of a gap back to Tier and Fleming, Jed Fife, uh, Xavier Kermy, who had that accident this morning, Isaac Ayad, Jackson McDonnell, William Hunt, Darius Hummard, uh, Ethan Ayad, and that was uh, Stella Ella uh, McCausland that had that uh, very slow start, and she's out there, and uh, Josh White has entered the pits, a newcomer as well, taking it. And you can see the bike sliding, even in the wet weather with these greasy conditions, Phil. The rider that impressed me through turn one on that occasion was the rider currently sitting in fourth place, Ricky Henry. He looked to be carrying visibly more corner speed and lean angle than any of the other riders. Keep your eye on him. He's in fourth place at the moment, starting to uh, try and find a way. Plus, you can, can see him there. Very distinctive with the Kevin Schwantz replica helmet on. Obviously channeling the 1993 500 GP world champion with uh, a bit of that uh, radical style. But uh, as they come round through these final complex of corners now, it is Harrison Watts that's built up a little bit of a lead over the rest of the field. And as we said in the first race this morning, Braxy he had massive lean angle, elbow on the ground. Not so in this one, but he's still uh, doing a very good job with a 58 second lap on his first first real flying lap. Look at look at Henry around the outside there, trying to uh, get the better of uh, Judd Playstead in third place. And poor old Ethan Ayad in his first road race, he was um, upright going around turn one. But Harry Watts has uh, cleared out from the rest. The only rider to get into the 59s that opening lap. Now it's on the second flying lap. Now he's into the 58s again. So he's getting that lead out about one and a half, nearly two seconds. He did that in uh, basically half a lap. Just put the power down. Now Levi Russo on bike number 72 has got to start looking around to see where Judd plays. Oh, and up the inside come Ricky Henry. You were right, Phil. He's not taking any prisoners at the moment in fourth position. As we see now, uh, looking to see where... Uh, Jake Page is as well, the young Queenslander. This will be their first experience for many in wet weather conditions. Harry Watts has ridden in the wet before, as has Levi Russo, so they've got a bit more confidence. Oh, and under brakes goes Ricky Henry as well. There's been a high side. That was uh, young Judd Place said. Uh, Rocket Ronnie picks the bike up, just uh, got on the gas a bit early and it flipped him over the bars. So pick it up there, youngster. And he's done the Doing a good job there. There's another one that's gone down the road there. Who's that? Is that one? Is that uh, looking to see who that is at the back? Now, there might be, I'd say there's going to be a red flag here, Phil. There's a bike line in the middle of the track there. It's, and that's young uh, Ayad. Yellow flag is being waved, but uh, 
placed it sitting there on the outside of the track. He's stalling the bike, trying to get the bike started on the exit of turn one. Probably would have flooded it in that instant. Now, someone's trying to pick that bike out. The red flag has come out. Phil thought that as much with that bike lane stricken in the middle of the track. Yeah, not really much they can do. And the other thing that makes it a little bit more too uh, difficult too, Braxy, is the fact that it is just out of a corner, so it would be probably unsighted for a lot of the riders coming through.